okay guys so today we are recording about uh, how we can create the folder structure in our crxd so we'll create the folder structure by using a, a static template so first of all we'll just uh, in uh, where we can create the project inside our apps only so we have to right click and we have to create a folder first of all so just go there and just create a folder first so i'm just giving a name here like search software hit enter just save the changes after that so this this becomes our project name and after that we have to right click and we have to create two folder inside that so first one that is components and the second one that is templates okay just save the changes and inside the component we have to create two folder first one that is content and second one is a structure <coughs> okay so here we have a content folder so inside the content folder we'll store the sub components of our page that means if i'm coming here and if i'll show you like i'm just opening the sites okay so this is the sites i have opened it and uh, now i'm just opening any page just like uh, this demo projects and here we have one en so i'm just trying to open this one okay okay so this is our main component so whatever you are seeing right now this is main component and inside that here we have a sub component so if you want to create sub component for your project then you can simply come uh, this in inside this content folder and just simply create it but the main page that is this one is your en page so if you want to create your this is nothing but your en page from starting onwards to ending so if you want to create that one so this one we have to create inside this structure okay so and let's try to create the page but before that just understand uh we for creating this page yeah this is the page if you want to create for that what we need we need a template okay and template is just simple blueprints or the layout of your page okay so if you want to create a tem if you want to create a page then you have to create a template so first of all i'm just creating a page now i'll show you uh here page is also a component so that's why i'm just creating a uh, components here okay and i'm just giving a name like here this is a main components give it all of this thing in a small and here there is no need so we can also write in capital uh, this is the page component okay and this is nothing but our resource type and what does it mean by the resource type now so uh, now we know that what we need we need a page component so am has already created the out of the box page component so if you want to inherit then you can just simply cop paste the path here okay so where is component store so component store inside our core yeah inside our apps we have this core folder and inside wcm and here we have a component and inside that we have a components see uh, what we need we need a page component so this is the page and again the same component it has stored inside our lips as well so just try to go inside your lips okay after that here we have a foundation you can just search somewhere after that here we have a component and after that somewhere we have a page component so you can just simply copy this one sorry i have pasted we have to copy this uh, go there where we have to create the components yeah here inside this structure so just come here create and the component okay here we just simply have to paste it but the thing is your sling knows already this lips this structure your sling already knows that this foundation components and page so it has present inside your lips so we don't need to write this lips and just remove this foundation okay there is no need of the group right now and just simply okay so i have created a main page so this is it will create automatically the script that is jsp you have to rename it from jsp to html hit enter okay double click and uh, you will see this script okay so this is the by default script when you will create the page that time it will come 
okay so now we already know that we have only create the page but we haven't create the actual page so how we can create come here inside this sites in your content and here we have one option that is create create and here we have options of the page so when here we'll create a page that time it uh, it wants the template we need a templates here okay so before that we have to create a template so how we can create here we already have created this template folder you can just simply right click and here you can create the templates here we have options of the template click here and just name it it becomes your node name that means uh, when i'm just creating this template so it it's stored inside this template folder and it becomes your uh, node name template name so here i'm just writing main template okay main template i'm just writing this is main template done and after that see it has a dynamic uh, it has a connection it has one connection between this page and the template if you want to create this page okay this is the page and you want to execute this mm, script then we have to connect this component with this page okay so we knows that uh, this is search, uh, so where is this component has stored so it has stored inside your search software components structure and this is your main component so the same thing we have to write it so i'm just writing search uh, software search software after that uh, we have a components and inside the component we have a structure structure okay that is nine and main components okay i have written it there is no need to write this apps and everything okay because your sling knows this apps and this folder structure so that's why we don't need to and this one is a ranking so if you want to execute this workflow uh, quickly then you can just simply use this this one this ranking so i'm just giving a lowest that means one so it 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 will work as a higher okay here we have a concept of the allow path what does it mean by the allow path now so just come here inside this go back and you will see uh, here all this website and everything when you want to create the page templates uh, sorry you want to create the page inside your sites so all this thing has stored inside your content only so when i'm just create and just trying to create a page that time uh, we want our templates okay we want the templates here okay no we need uh, this template so for that uh, if you need the template then you have to give this content because this data is also present inside your content only okay so here we have to allow path and we have to tell like this component uh, this template i just want to show inside this content okay and i'm just giving particular that means when somebody has click if somebody hasn't click anywhere like here you see if somebody hasn't click any website okay then we want to create that page so that's why i have written like this this is the expression and uh, this expression i have written it next and this is uh, we'll see later next and just simply okay save it okay so now we have created this template as well and we have created the component now what what the thing is now you can just simply go there and refresh from here uh, what is the name we have given it by the way mm, main components and we have a title that is main uh, sorry not here template we have to go templates and this is the main template we have written it okay so now come here refresh it once and now i am not even selected anywhere okay no create and give with a uh, page now you will see this main template so the thing is if you want everywhere when i when you are clicking here and just create so that time you want this com this template so here we have given a permission allow pass so instead of this dot you have to write a star okay done now come here now you can just create and just simply page okay so this is our main template you can just come here and just simply click next okay here we have to write the website name so this is my search website okay website i have written so this website has created so where it will show in your content folder only come at down and you will see this search website now just uh, click on it and just try to open it once you open you will see this content okay 
this is the content you will see what does it mean by this content so it has rendering from your page okay now so you have created a template by uh, you have created the page by using a template and this template has rendering your page uh, script so just come here and here you see first of all your sling will come inside your templates and it will see okay come in the jcr and you will see so your templates has connected through this resource type so it will find where is this search software component structure and the main component so this is the thing and it will automatically execute this script whatever you have written inside this then you will see this component okay but now the thing is this is the page and if i want to insert the component inside this page for that we need a parsis component is it no so how we can add this parsis component so for that we just simply have to write a code we have to write a code for this parsis component but uh, we already have the code so i'm just simply coming here yeah this is the code we have you can just simply copy it, come here and simply where is our this is instead of that you can just simply paste that one save it come here and just try to refresh it now you will see the parsis component so here uh, this data sly resource is a sightly concept okay now so this is the attributes of your sightly and this is the expression language so whatever you have written dollar curly braces open and curly braces close this is nothing but your expression language and why we use the data sly resource if you want to add some another component inside your main component or somewhere else then you have to use this data sly resource so in this case what i'm doing this is the parsis component this parsis component i'm adding inside my main components this is nothing but our page okay so that's why i'm using here data sly resource okay and what is the use of this so it has it has some uh, drawback that means you we can say it has some uh, mismatch alignment that means that alignment is not correctly so now i'll show you come here and just try to refresh it what i done i'll just simply taking a simple component this is the component i'm taking and i'm just checking it so here you see only one line it is showing okay now but we want to show the entire parsis component okay so that alignment is not there see it has going and it is showing only this uh, bottom border line so for that you just have to come here and this is the script you have to write that means uh, it has some drawbacks so that's why they have written all css and the jsp code inside this okay and they have stored inside this path okay after that uh, now you can just simply save it come here and refresh it you will see the parsis component okay so now think is now when i'm clicking inside this here it is showing the insert option and everything see it is showing insert option no but uh, this is not our if i want to add my own component inside this so how i can add it this is only a general group and inside the general we have this 34 components but if i want some another component as well so you can just come here inside this edit and just choose this design mode okay and just click here you will see this parent after the parent here we have config just simply click and here here we have a lot of groups and inside the group we knows that if you want to organize your component in a traditional manner so we'll create one group so this is the group and inside that we have stored the components generally we'll do why because of we have a project and inside the project will create more than one component so if you want to store this component you can just store here okay so now right now i'm just what i'm doing is here we have a column two column three column some column is there if i want this you can just simply select here and just done okay now we are in the edit mode so we can't see this insert option so you can just simply come here and just simply go inside the edit now click here and insert it now you will see this column option see and here is the column components so when you will click you will see the column see so this is nothing but your components only now i just want to insert the image just come here and uh, here this is the image now come here at the left hand side you know that we have our assets you can just simply drag 
and drop it so this is the image we have to drop to image only see we got this image like that way we made the website by using a template but our static templates has lot of drawbacks that's why we have introduced the concepts of editable templates okay so when we will create the project by using a maven then we'll see what does it mean by the editable editable template and why uh, how we can use it and how we can create it thank you